Scores of displaced city markets workers demonstrated outside Parliament today demanding justice and immediate payment of their long overdue severance payments and pensions. But they have an unusual proposal for where the money should come from. Yes, it's been nine months now since their rocky relationship with city markets ended and now the workers say their patience has run out. Andrew Nolts joins us live with the latest on what the group is asking for. Andrew? Well, just days after irate former city market workers rejected a $1.4 million offer from their old bosses, they staged a protest outside the House of Assembly today. They rejected the offer, saying they were expecting to get at least $4.2 million in benefits and invested funds. But now the weary workers are seeking government's intervention in the matter with this proposal. right now is to not to secure the severance package, but to make the, make the owners of the company to pay out the severance package, the $4.2 million for the employees, as well, as well as if in fact there's no money in the company, then the Bahamas government should have regulated the operation of a public traded company with BSL holding, which, it was, which did not happen. So what should have happened now is that the government should uh, 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 pay the severance package that is due to the employees and then go after the owner. That's what those former city market employees were hoping to talk to the Prime Minister about. The group has been on a quest to secure severance and pensions since April, and they want the matter resolved. Spokesman Vance Lauternquist is calling for an audit to be done on the pension fund. The group even now has an ally. The severance matter, by law, under the labor laws of the Commonwealth of Bahamas, their entitlement basically is $4.2 million. We're asking the Bahamas government to come up with the $4.2 million severance matter for all the employees at City Market. This is not, we're not asking for anything. We're not begging for our money. That's the entitlement. These persons have worked in the company for over 10, 15, 20, and 30 years. This law, this is past the level of City Market. We're now fighting for the protection of all workers in this country. Does this never ever happen in this country again? These people that are here behind me have been suffering for over a year. No food to put on the table for their children, no money to pay the bills, and it's time now for the government to step in. I am asking Prime Minister Christie to do everything in his power to bring this to an end. Joining them was Chairman of Citizens for Justice, Bishop Walter Hanschel. He says he's appalled that the matter is still pending and that Bahamian workers have to suffer in trying to feed their families and pay their bills in these challenging times. City market was sold. The owners received their monies. Why are the workers not paid? That is not right. They're not begging, they're not asking for any favor, they're not asking for any handout. They are asking for what is, what is rightfully and legally due to them under the laws, the labor laws of the Bahamas. So please, um, union leaders, um, Minister Shane Gibson, let's help these people out. We cannot let these people suffer another day. Now, Bishop Angel says Citizens for Justice will not stop in its quest and continue to lobby on behalf of the workers until they are given what is rightfully theirs. Andrew Knowles, ZNS Network News.